This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shanti. If you are returning, you already know who I am. And thank you all for returning week after week. Uh, today is a very exciting video. Uh, I have a birthday haul that I would like to share with you. Uh, my birthday is actually in March, it's not in February. However, I think for some of us, we tend to uh, think about what we're gonna do for our birthdays or what we're wanting to purchase for our birthdays far in advance of our actual birthday. And I actually call it a birthday month. So um, I started the festivities a little bit earlier uh, just because I have been traveling for work. Uh, there's been also, as you all know, I've been dealing with medical issues with my husband and uh, with myself, I am still experiencing hives. So for those of you who have asked about that, I am still experiencing hives. I, uh, they go away, they seem to like get really good and then I've traveled and they've gotten really bad and I have still not gotten to the bottom of it, uh, which is unfortunate, but I am still looking for an answer and I will continue to look for an answer. So that's kind of my little health update there. So yes, so because of all these crazy things that are going on, that's one of the reasons why my videos, uh, my weekly videos have been not weekly. <laughs> and uh, it's not because I don't want to, I love, this is one of the outlets that I have where I can actually have fun. This is why I do this is because I, I enjoy actually recording videos, editing videos and publishing videos. I really, really enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoy what I'm putting out there. So anyway, today we're going to talk about my birthday haul. I think last, my last video I had my kind of first unboxing for 2024. I have uh, these particular shoes right next to me. I uh, did an unboxing of my Chanel uh, loafer, tab loafer shoes, and I have not worn them out yet because I wanted to get the bottom covered. So I recently bought some protectors. I bought them from Amazon and I did this myself. We will see if these hold up, but I didn't want to wear them outside until I uh, did that. So also quick update, I've worn them in the house and they have gotten more comfortable, like from a stretch perspective, like it has actually gotten more comfortable as I wear them around the house. So I'm pretty sure this size, the 36 is the right size for me. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that they'll be comfortable. I mean, if you have wide feet, I don't think this, your regular, you would take your regular size because they are pretty, they're kind of narrow on the front, uh, more narrow than kind of, I wish they were slightly bit wider, but I do think there is a little give there. So um, I will start wearing these out. I'm very excited to wear them because I love them so much. And in that specific video, I said, you know, I've gotten bitten by the Chanel bug and that is where my haul is gonna come in, but I'm gonna leave that for the last thing that I show you. Uh, my haul, I don't, I don't have a lot of things to show you. I have two things to show you. So the first thing I wanna show you is uh, a piece of jewelry that my husband bought me uh, for my birthday. I am uh, in love with it. Uh, I have been wanting to build out as you guys have seen some of my jewelry collections i've been wanting to build out kind of a jewelry collection of items that i want to wear on a daily basis so these two uh, necklaces that you see here are uh, some roberto coin solitaires i've been wearing these two pretty much every day i mostly wear the round solitaire every day uh, and then this one is an emerald cut uh, diamond. It's, you know, very dainty. These two pieces are very dainty, but I wear them every day. I don't take them off. I shower with them. I wear them all the time and they have held up beautifully. 
no issues. I think they, they've gotten a little bit tangled every once in a while, so you kind of have to get through that. But I, I am really, really happy with these Roberto coin purchases, and I have continued to really want to add to my Roberto coin collection. So because of that, uh, my husband and I went out to look for a bracelet to add to my current stack. Now you have not seen one of these because I got this for Christmas. And this is this white gold bracelet right here. I won't go into too much detail on it um, just because I probably should do kind of a full review on it, but it's very, very beautiful. I'm gonna show it uh, to you up close. And then I have this gold uh, bracelet or bangle, I call it a bangle, um, that I am wearing on a daily basis. So this is, so this is my current stack. So that was my current stack and my husband decided that he wanted to add to that stack, which of course I'm not going to say no. Uh, I would love to continue to develop my stack. I also want to get some more rings on this hand. So I wear my uh, wedding, my engagement ring and my wedding band on this hand. And then I'd like to get some more rings on this hand. So without further ado, uh, let's show you the new bangle that my husband got for me. It is from Roberto Coin. Uh, and, you know, him and I went back and forth on uh, what material it should be in. And uh, I listened to his advice because uh, I think he's right. I think he was right on this one. So, so this is the beautiful Love in Verona bracelet. Got diamonds on one side. It is an 18 karat white gold. And on the other side, it just has the pattern on the other side. It's kind of hard to see because you're seeing a lot of uh, reflection there. So him and I had gone back and forth about whether I wanted this in gold or whether I wanted this in, I'm sorry, yellow gold or whether I wanted it in white gold. Uh, so I had, uh, so I worked with someone at Neiman Marcus and she had the gold one brought in. So I basically um, put the gold one next to the white one. If it were up to me, I would have gotten the gold one. But in his opinion, the diamonds basically show better in the white gold. Uh, and so I agreed. I agreed with that. On the gold side, I would say the the diamonds almost kind of... They don't, they're not, they don't show as much as they do on the white gold. So I decided to get the white gold and I'm going to put it on. So Roberto Coin has these lovely locks that keeps this pretty secure. So I'm going to put this on and show you my current stack. There you go. So this is now my current stack. I'm sorry, it's not showing very well. There we go. This is my current stack. I absolutely love it. Um, this one gives a lot of visual interest just because it's very different. The pattern is very different. This is uh, it's extremely beautiful. This one is the first one that I received, which is going to be your most simplest, plain yellow gold. The, all of these are in 18 karat. This is in 18 karat white gold, 18 karat yellow gold. And this, of course, is the latest one with the diamonds, and it is in 18 karat white gold. So there is my stack. I'm absolutely loving this stack. So building a jewelry collection takes a while, guys. It takes a while, and... You know, if you're into jewelry, it, it just it just takes some time. So that is my new stack that I get to wear every day. I'm very, very happy about that. Okay, so a lot of you are bag lovers like I am. I'm actually a shoe lover first and then a bag lover second. Jewelry, gosh, is somewhere in between <laughs> both of those things. Uh, but anyway, I when I went to go... Well, I, when I went to go look at my piece of jewelry that I, we were going to buy, I, uh, there is a Chanel boutique inside uh, the Neiman Marcus that I go to. And I decided that I wanted to go look at Chanel. Uh, again, I think I said it in my other video, buying those Chanel shoes, I just literally like 
fell in love with Chanel. Um, it's very easy to fall in love with Chanel, but the pricing obviously of Chanel is very, very high. And so that's one of the things that is hard to swallow. Uh, and so anyway, I had my essay take me into Chanel and I looked around and I literally, they have the their beautiful 24P collection in store. And um, I, I don't know much about Chanel. I am not a Chanel connoisseur, but some of these spring colors, the purple, they call it lilac. It was, it's just stunning. The, the leather is beautiful. I, um, and I'm going to put up a few pictures of a couple of things that I saw there. Uh, one of them, one of the bags I really, really fell in love with, but I just, I wasn't ready like mentally to like purchase a Chanel when I walked in. Uh, so uh, the bag that I just fell in love with was this purple, beautiful Chanel. Uh, it's called Lilac and it had a pink, it had the pink leather in the chain strap uh, and it was a flat bag and it had the pink uh, woven with the gold on the CC in the front. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well, but I'll put the, put the picture up so that you can understand what I'm talking about. The picture does not do the lilac any kind of justice. But um, yeah, so I tried on a couple of things at Chanel and I left and I thought, oh my God, oh my God, I love that lilac. It's so beautiful. It was so beautiful that I ended up doing my nails in this lilac. <laughs> That's how... Like, it just, like, it was on my brain. So I decided to walk into Chanel and try to figure out if I could see it again. Well, when I went into the store, what happens at Chanel? If you don't buy it right away, it's pretty much going to be gone. And it's only, it was only a week later, literally only a week later. And I was like, okay, that's my bad. So I, you know, talked to them and asked them could they get it in and they actually were able to get it in. Instead, they did show me the same bag but in a different color. So this, <laughs> this is the Chanel box. This is the beautiful Chanel packaging that they give you. It's just fantastic. We're gonna unbox this together. It's so beautiful, I don't even want to uh, take any of this off because it's so beautiful. So here is the beautiful Chanel box. Here is the dust bag. And here is what I purchased. Yes, it is not purple. So you guys must be wondering, why you went in? You talked about this beautiful lilac bag. Why didn't you get the lilac bag? Well, I was going back and forth, lilac or black, lilac or black, and I was just having a very hard time. They did say, hey, we have the lilac in store. Doc, they had a few left over. We can order it for you. If you don't like the black one, you can always exchange it for the lilac. So I just sat there and I thought about all the different things that I have in my collection, which I don't have a lot of Chanel in my collection. I thought about these shoes and I thought about this bag and I was like, well, the black is going to go a lot better with a lot more things than the lilac. So as much as I love the lilac, and again, I am dying over this lilac that they have brought out in this 24P collection. I'm just, it's, it's beautiful. They've also brought out some beautiful blues as well, which when I was a child, lilac or purple was my favorite color. And then as an adult, um, blue became my favorite color, but really both purple and blue, both of those colors are like my favorite. So anyway, this is lambskin. I'm going to show you the tag. Again, I am not a huge Chanel like expert. <laughs> it's not, I don't buy a lot of Chanel. Um, this is my third Chanel 
And this is my third Chanel black bag. When I think of Chanel, I think of classic. Uh, that's what I think of. So here is the tag. I'm gonna show it to you up close so we can read it together. This is a seasonal bag. There we go. This is a seasonal bag. It's from 24P. It is a mini flap bag. So what does a good associate do? They say, oh, well, we have the lilac in the little card case if you want to get that. Uh, I didn't end up getting that because to be honest with you, I have too many card cases at this point. Like I don't need another card case unless I get rid of some of my card cases. I just don't need another one. Uh, I have enough. So I ended up picking up this beautiful bag. Uh, this is lambskin. I am absolutely in love with Chanel lambskin. The other two bags that I have, uh, which is a single flap jumbo and uh, I have a chevron wok. Both of those are uh, in the caviar leather and not in the lambskin. I adore lambskin. So many people I think are afraid of lambskin. Um, I understand why. I mean, it's like, it seems like it's really kind of scary to wear this, but there is nothing that beats this. I mean, when you talk about like elegance and elevating and being classy and classic, this puffy lambskin, there's nothing like touching this. The caviar just does not feel the same way. And so um, I ended up with this lovely, lovely flat bag. Uh, it, they did not have any mini classic uh, rectangulars in stock at all. I think they're just, I think everybody wants one, right? And so this is a seasonal bag. Um, the back of this bag has the Mona Lisa smile. So it really resembles like a mini rectangular flap to me. Uh, it does have four holes, so I'll open it here. It is a twist lock, and this particular gold is more like a, it's, it's not a shiny gold, it's more of a muted gold, it's not even an antiqued gold. Uh, it's just not shiny, I would say. Uh, and then this is what the inside looks like. There's the strap falling out. I'm gonna pull this so you can see how big it is. Yeah, so, you know, it's not huge, but it's not um, really small either. I love the fact that it has the four holes at the top. I love the fact that I can wear it as a shoulder bag. I love that I can, wear it crossbody as well. Um, I think it's a really good size. You can get your phone in here without an issue. You can get a card case, lipstick, uh, small hand sanitizer, your keys, uh, things like that. But this is the bag that I purchased. Um, and I really, like I said, I went into the store to get the purple one. If the purple one was there, I wonder if I would have walked away with it. But I kept thinking about building a classic wardrobe and these two items to me are very classy and very classic and so I wanted to make sure that if I'm going to spend this amount of money that I had something that was very very classic in my collection. So this is the Chanel bag that I bought. I will do a review once I wear this. I, I don't, I, I'm going to probably wear this on special occasions and things like that. Uh, probably not going to wear it as a daily bag, uh, but surely as, you know, I'll wear it on occasions to go out for dinner and things like that. I'm definitely going to be wearing this lovely, beautiful bag. Uh, very, very happy to have a new Chanel in my collection. Uh, that's probably the only, only my second purchase that I've made of a bag at an actual Chanel boutique. My uh, classic uh, uh, my classic single flap jumbo caviar. I bought that, um, off of a resale, uh, off the resale market, uh, just because they're just really hard to get. Well, they don't even make the single flaps anymore, but, um, and I did not want a jumbo double flap just because of the weight. 
So I have three <laughs> Chanel bags. I have the uh, Caviar Jumbo Classic uh, Chanel. Uh, and then I have a Walk. That is in silver hardware. And that now I have this mini rectangular bag, which is not a classic. It's a seasonal, but it will do for me. I'm uh, very happy to have it in my collection. So that's it. That was my haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, today's video and hope you have a very good week. I will talk to you next week. Ciao.